good afternoon, everyone. Welcome back to group. I hope you all had a good week, and I'm looking forward to getting... Well, I didn't have a good week because Tracy's Wait, such a bitch. Jamie, hang on a second. Hang on. I'm hearing some very hurtful words from you, and you look very surprised, Tracy, and probably mm -hmm. surprised and shocked about what um, you're hearing from Jamie. So we need to use um, positive words in here. Um, we need to be able to have this a safe environment for everyone. So we're going to take some time, and we'll talk about something else, and we'll come back to this in a little bit, if that's okay. Okay. Cut. Well, thank you all again for being here uh, this afternoon. Um, before we get started, I was wondering if anyone had anything to say about um, what happened in the last group. Uh, um, I do. Yes, Tracy. Um, it's kind of been bothering me all week, but okay. um, last week Mary Beth um, started. Okay, at... Tracy, can I stop you for a second? So it sounds like you have something that you want to work through with Mary Beth. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. Okay. So you look a little surprised, um, Mary Beth. Um, is, would you be willing to talk this through with Tracy? Uh, yeah, I guess. Okay, well, I appreciate that. Thank you. So, Tracy, I'm going to ask you to take a specific example of what um, troubled you about something that Mary Beth did, and if you could talk directly to her. Okay. Um, Mary Beth, last week I was talking about um, some problems that my husband and I were having, and you were rolling your eyes, and I think I saw you laughing, and so it made me feel really bad because I felt like you were laughing at my problems, and that just, like, really didn't feel good. Okay. So, Mary Beth, can you... Um, say back to Tracy what you heard her say. Um, you're saying that I just really hurt your feelings by, um, I guess, rolling my eyes and laughing, or you thought I was laughing when you were talking about your story with your husband. And I'm really sorry about that. Um, I think I nervously laugh sometimes because my husband uh, did some of the same stuff that was going on with you and your husband, and so um, I just, I think it struck something in me and it made me like almost laugh. I guess out of uncomfortableness. Um, so I'm really sorry. You know, I do apologize. And, um, you know, I, I know I hurt you, but um, I didn't mean to. And I'm just kind of surprised. Um, but I'm also very sincere in my apology. Okay. So thank you, Mary Beth, for sharing that. Tracy, can you tell back to Mary Beth what she said to you? speak directly to her. Okay, um, you said that uh, you lack of nervousness, that you are related, you were relating to some of the things I was having with my husband, but um, you just kind of laughed or rolled your eyes like out of being uncomfortable because you are relating so deeply to what I have to say, and that you're sincere in your apology towards me, and I really appreciate that. Very good. Can you tell us how you're feeling about that now? Um, I feel um, relieved now, having told you how I felt, and I'm glad that we were able to talk it out. Thank you all very much for sharing. That's a really positive way to get through some conflict, and we can revisit this at a later time as well. Okay? Cut. Okay, welcome everyone to Anxiety Management Group. Um, what I'd like to do tonight is um, try to uh, open with a poem, and it's really a, kind of something that I'd like you to think about, and then um, really focusing in on things that we um, stressors in our lives and you know one of the, some of the themes that, that have come up in this group are are issues of control and issues of perfectionism and how those kind of issues kind of give us some anxiety symptoms in our life so kind of what I'd like to, us to think about is reframing some of those anxiety uh, those stressors in our lives um, so I'll read the poem and I'll give you some a chance to think about it but then I'd like you to think of some stressors and ways to kind of reframe those stressors to maybe a positive thing for you. That makes sense. Isn't it? Okay, so let me just read it and then we'll go from there, okay? Okay. So it's by Rumi. It's a Persian poet. It's called Human Being as a Guest House. This being human is a guest house. Every morning, a new arrival, a joy, a depression, a meanness, some momentary awareness comes as an unexpected visitor. Welcome and entertain them all even if they're a crowd of sorrow who violently sweep your house, empty of, it, of its furniture, still treat each guest honorably. He may be clearing out for some new delight. The dark thought, the shame, the malice, meet them at the door laughing and invite them in. Be grateful for whoever, whoever comes because each has been sent as a guide from beyond. So I'll give you a second to think about that. Has anyone heard that one before? No, I 
Did it strike a chord with anyone? Uh, yeah, with me, I, I think I could definitely relate because I feel like I just constantly have stressors all the time that are just weighing on me. And it, 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 there was some part in it where it was just kind of talking about there's always new things coming in. Um, and it really struck it with me because it made me think like, well, yes, I'm always going to have stressors throughout my life. Everyone does. There's always going to be, you know, I can get rid of one and there'll be one coming in, but I need to learn how to just kind of roll with it and realize that good things can come out of it. Um, like, you know, school, it's kind of a big stressor for me and it's, uh, it takes a lot of my time I and mean, it's hard on my relationships and stuff, but I know that in the end it's because I'm going to, it's going to be good because I'm doing what I want to do and what I love and I'm getting a lot out of it. Okay, great. Thank you for sharing. So I'm hearing you say that you have a lot of stress in your life and constantly new things come into your life that cause you stress or things that you have to deal with. One of them being school, which eventually will, will pay off for you. So you think you can kind of reframe the stress and say, well, someday this is going to be helpful for me. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I can, I can definitely relate uh, to Mary Beth because uh, I know for me, I'm also in school, and it's, it's very stressful for me. And I'm also, uh, another stressor is work. And just listening to that poem, um, you know, there's something new always going on at, at work. And it's just, it's tough for me. And I constantly have to keep up with so many different things going on in my life. Um, so that's why I can say I can relate. You know, I mean, it, eventually school will pay off, and I'll be able to do what I uh, really want to do. Um, and I won't be stuck in this, this position that I'm in now in my current job. Right. So I'm hearing you say that um, with school and work, kind of balancing those two, that that's really tough for you right now. But that um, that knowing that, you know, kind of focusing into the future, that you're going to be in a different place than you are now, especially at work. And so that's something that you can kind of reframe how you think about the stress that you're going through. Yes. Okay. Thank you for sharing. Um, the poem, when it talked about, like, you used some words like malice and, you know, some, like, really negative words, and I think it's just, it just reminded me that when those negative words and thoughts and situations come to mind, you just really have to remember that, you know, things happen to you for a reason, and it's kind of like how you look at it, and there's, you can always try and find that silver lining in that poem, like, really gave me hope, and, you know, and I think I'll, if I'm ever in a negative situation, I, I might read that poem to, like, make me feel better, make me remember that. No, it's all going to work out. Thank you for sharing that, Tracy. So you're saying that when you kind of hear negative things in your life or some ne negative things happen to you, you're able to kind of rethink it and see a silver lining and have hope in, in, in certain situations. So, yeah. Okay, well, thank you. I appreciate you all sharing. And uh, was this helpful for you? Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. So We can do more things like this. And if anyone has some poetry that they'd like to share, we can, we can bring that to the group as well. Okay.